Hi, air sign. Hello, darlings. Welcome in. Welcome to Kitchen Table Tarot. <laughs> I'm not really calling anything that. I just like the name. I don't know. It just it just jumps out at me. It just jumps out at me. So let's see what's going on for September 20th. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your general reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So um, if you are um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, don't forget to check out your Moon, Rising, or Venus signs because sometimes not every single reading is going to resonate with every single Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, right? Just impossible. It's a general read. So if today's reading resonates with you, awesome. If it's not, you can check out your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign within the other readings. Also, just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you're drawn here because of the title, that's kind of what we do here. Storytelling uh, based on um, channeling and um, the use of tarot cards. So if you're new, hi, welcome in. Lots of new people coming in recently. So um, hey there, and thank you to all of the subscribers. Thank you, guys. This channel has really grown. And in fact, we're going to be starting a second channel that is going to be uh, having a little more astrology to it. We've been talking about North Node a lot. We just did a North Node workshop last night. There's so much, so many questions, so much to learn. Um, we're going to start a second channel so we can do some explainer videos for everybody and help them really get a sense because the point of this channel and the point of that channel is to help people transform their lives and go in the direction of their dreams. That was my intent when I started this channel and it still is my intent every single day. So let's see what's going on for you guys. Woo! Big old spirit chills on that. Yay! <laughs> I like it. I like that. Okay. Thinker. Okay. <laughs> oh, to be fair. No, not thinker. To be fair. This is the Libra card. This is the Libra card here and now. This is the Zen card getting into your balanced space here. Moving toward uh, abundance of all kinds. Treasure Island. You're going to have to swim through some feelings to get there. Okay, air sign. Um, <clears throat> this is very much in your wheelhouse, okay? The balance of Libra and the, you know, being in the moment kind of thing. Your, your brain does take over, though, air sign. You really, you know, I'm Gemini moon, Libra rising, and Venus is in Aquarius. So I got a lot of air. I totally get it. There's a lot of thinking going on, okay? And so... If you can channel that into more of a mindfulness campaign for yourself or mindfulness pr practice for yourself, that is what is going to help you move through this, moving toward Treasure Island. Something big is coming. You don't have to do anything, right? Just be in the here and now. Be balanced. Okay? I feel like you've done something really good and healthy for yourself. To be fair, you've decided that you know, being, staying in the here and now is really where you want to be. Like you're not creating a lot of story around things. You're just sort of breathing in the here and now. The Treasure Island thing is really cool. That's really amazing. So let's see where we go here with the reading. Let's see where we go. I'm going to have to sneeze. I feel like a sneeze is coming on here. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. I see the King of Wands under here. I'm going to take that because I just saw that. King of Wands has been showing up a lot. Aries Leo Sag. Could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sag right now. Six of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Three of Swords, <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Yeah. Queen of Wands. Wow. Air sign. You could be dealing with a Sag Aries Leo. Um, who has a lot of stability, all right? Um, okay. So um, this is interesting. This, I feel like you might have been with this person in the past, okay? This could be your, you, um, and looking back to the past of when you guys were together, okay? Looking back. To the past of this person, this Aries Leo Sag, um, and trying to make some sense of it right now, trying to, I, I feel like you've spent a lot of time living in the past about this, this person, 
Um, uh, Six of Pentacles, Page of Swords, could be watching them, could be feeling a lot of heartbreak around them. Okay, could be feeling a lot of heartbreak around them. Um, this other person is likely somebody who um, is stable. I feel like Sag more than anything, but I'll in the extended, I'll pull some cards around Aries, Leo, and Sag, okay, just to see. Um, you're usually kind of nuanced, you know, when I do that, there's usually a little bit of a nuance between um, the fire signs or the, whatever signs I'm pulling. So I want to make sure. Queen of Wands here is very confident. Um, I feel like there is some kind of some kind of misunderstanding or some kind of hurt that you incurred or that you still feel um, with this person. Seven of Swords, Ten of Wands. I feel like you need to get this off your chest. You guys are going to be talking about this. There is going to be some kind of um, coming together pretty fast, you know, sort of, I got to get this off my chest. That's what this feels like. It feels like there is some kind of burden there. There is some kind of, um, let's see, three of swords. They could have acted like a player around you. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So you could be really in love with this person. They could have a lot of options. You could have a lot of options. You're just wanting to be happy. You're wanting to be in a happy relationship. You're wanting to get some um, uh, clarity for yourself around why this person here, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, when you guys are in high vibration in the past, okay, in high vibration, why, 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 why? Why did it then, why was there then this sneaking away or this like ending that happened? Why did that happen? I think there's going to be some um, um, sharp words or something said or some kind of truth that's going to be kind of sharp. But I feel like you're looking at that to, at that globe and being like, huh, I really, wanted, I really want to maybe get back with this person, but I really need to clear the air first. Okay. Um, this person, Knight of Wands. Magician, Fool, Four of Cups. This person is very powerful, a powerful manifester. I feel like the Treasure Island thing is, you guys just need to figure this out. Because I do feel like you'd be a good couple together. I do feel like this person um, has passion for you, feels grounded, feels like maybe more, maybe they were in the Knight of Wands in the past, and now they're uh, more Queen of Wands here, or there was something here that happened that made them Knight of Wands to you. Okay, and now this person, confused and stubborn about love. This person's just confused and stubborn, okay? I do feel like there's a lot of good feelings here, a lot of good po possibilities. Um, but I think you're going to have to go through some big conversation here first. I do feel like this person is confused about love. They are, they have been perpetually single. Um, they have been, they would, they do want to take a leap of faith with you. Um, they're a little confused and a little, they, they sort of, um, let's see here. Yeah. You guys are really soulmates. Okay. But they have some things they have to get through. They have some things they have to learn. And you might have other people sort of in your ear being like, really? Do you want this person? Really? They've been um, kind of, um, they kind of acted like a player or something. They were in and out of your life. Fire sign. There is Leo Sag. So there's going to be a, con uh, a confrontation or a communication of some kind. There's going to be some kind of, yes, King of Swords. Wow. Page of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Eight of Wands. So I feel like this is a really good thing for you to have this communication with them, to have this conversation with them. I think it will go well. Okay. It will go well. I feel like you're going to get what you need. Um, Page of Swords, you could be the one reaching out here. Um, you could be the one starting this conversation. I don't mean that like 
if you haven't been talking to this person or it's been very erratic, um, I feel like this person doesn't have any anger or any, um, they're not um, evil, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. They're not evil. They're just confused, okay? They're just confused. They acted in a way that seemed one way to you, which was hurtful, Three of Swords here. And in reality, they are um, wanting to be free of a situation that they're in. They might not be very good at commitment here, <laughs> the understatement of the year, but um, they're just confused. This is something because there's cups, seven of cups, four of cups. Four of cups is, you know, a little bit uh, stubborn about accepting new love here, a little bit stubborn about that um, because they don't really know what they want. Okay. They don't really know what they want. So they are a soulmate for you. They are a soulmate for you. So I feel like what's going to happen here is you guys are going to have a conversation about why did it go down the way it did? Why did it have to happen like that? Why, why were you acting like a knight of wands? Why? Because I don't really know. I don't really feel like that's you. I feel like there's something else here that I don't understand. There's something else going on that I don't know about. And they could in their heart of hearts or in their deep, you know, sort of in their quiet moments, be like, you know, relationship is really hard for me because I have a hard time giving up my freedom. Okay, this person, definitely if it's a Sag, uh, this person really has a, wants to make a leap of faith with, you, faith with you, but they also want to be free. So how can we change that? or work with that? How can we make that not a bug, but a feature of the relationship? Okay. How can freedom be part of it? Okay. And that's what I think the conversation is going to be hinging on is I don't even know that they know this is true for them. I just know that when they feel, when they feel, um, the bonds of a relationship beginning, they kind of wig out. All right. They're like, oh, I'm going to be required to call this person every day. I have to, you know, like all of these old rules come up in their head. Right. And that's what this is. And they're trying to run away from all these old rules in a relationship, all the old ways of doing things. And you're like, hold up. You do know that you and I get to make our own rules. You get it, right? I don't think they do. I don't think they know that. And I don't think because mostly because I don't think they think that you are of that mind. Okay. They may think that you are somebody who wants to like immediately get married or something like that. And I don't think, I think if you speak your mind in the highest vibration of King of Swords here, I think that that will be a gift to this relationship. That will be a gift to this relationship because this person will be relieved by that. Okay, so I'm going to do an extended read here. If you want to continue on, see where we go here. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag are the signs I'm going to look at. You definitely got some more Leo up here. This is elemental air for you, air here. So Aries, Leo, Sag, I'm going to look at those signs as a bonus in the extended. I'll pull cards around those specific things after I do the regular extended. Okay, link is below for you, air sign. I'll see you on the other side.